Welcome aboard all my JE Advanced 2025 students. All of you have given the paper yesterday successfully and you are eagerly waiting for the difficulty level, the proper analysis and also the expected cutoff and also marks versus rank. So, we have waited for the official paper to be released because a lot of people did the video yesterday. We didn't want to do it because, you know, unless and until the paper comes and we get the actual answer uh, uh, from our students and correct it it's difficult to predict all such things so we wait for the right moment and that's the reason why you should be watching this video till the end okay so i hope you have smashed the like button and quickly let me know how was your j advance examination was it as expected was it uh, much beyond what you thought you could have done or was it not up to the mark for you quickly let me know and you can also tell me subject wise so I'm going to give you a proper detailed analysis, my dear students, okay? So let's start with the paper pattern. Of course, uh, this is mainly for the 2026 aspirants or 2027 aspirants. The current students already know about it uh, or somebody, maybe parents might want to know what the paper was. See guys, there were uh, some small changes in the paper pattern. Like you can see MCQ wise, also the questions in certain cases were easy, but there was MCQ, there was partial marking, there was also negative marking in MCQs, single correct also had negative marking, there was non-negative integer which was not asked and numeric based com comprehension questions were there, match the following was there, so negative marks will definitely play a spoil sport if you, uh, if you get it wrong, even in the match the following, uh, you know, you would have seen negative marking out there, so you cannot afford to do any mistakes matrix type was absent that was one interesting thing okay now paper one versus paper two there is no point talking together physics was moderate to moderate plus chemistry was easy to moderate maths was very lengthy especially the paper one if you talk about paper two physics suddenly became difficult students who thought oh this is the kind of paper we can expect they were in for a shocker the moment they went for paper 2. Also, paper 2, remember, it had many numeric based questions. Yes, the decimal value based questions. See, paper 1 had a lot of single choice and multiple choice and that matched the following type of questions. So, immediately going to numeric type of questions was, uh, you know, adding to the difficulty is what I would say. Chemistry was again maintaining the same level of easy to moderate, but maths proved to be a difficult nut to crack in the second paper. Although paper one, the maths was doable, but lengthy here, it was also difficult to solve. How many of you felt that? Yeah. So how many marks to get into J? I'm going to tell you that. And please, yeah, smash the like button. Yeah. When we do all this analysis, it does not come, you know, via chat GPT or anything. It, we have to work hard. We have to talk to thousands of students. We have to get uh, the feedback and then we have to do such things. So please smash the like button so that you know, the more students respond and, you know, we can understand it better how things are going to be uh, predicted for all of you. Let's do subject wise analysis. Now, there was some shocking details I will tell you in every subject. Uh, just hold on to that. See, if you look at the major chunk, 25% and 25% came from basically your electromagnetism and mechanics. So, that has to be, uh, you know, solved properly. You cannot ignore those topics and, you know, that is the, I would say, the bread and butter of J.E. Advanced Physics, right from 1990s, electromagnetism and mechanics has been the favorite picks of the IITNs. Modern physics was barely 6%, heat and thermo around 13%, optics was 12%, waves and oscillations around 19%. Okay, so this is for paper 2, by the way, whatever I told you. A very similar thing was also found uh, uh, in mechanics and uh, your electromagnetism in paper 1. But if you notice, modern physics was 19% versus 6% in paper 2. And you can see 12% of optics was asked, which is roughly the same. Okay. So heat and thermo was less in paper 1, whereas heat and thermo was slightly more in paper 2. So that was a significant difference. Talking about class-wise distribution, look at it, guys. Around 44% only from class 11th in paper 1. And in class, uh, sorry, in paper 2, Class 11th was 56%. This is crazy. So, students who thought, oh, in the first paper, the percentage of 11th is less. 
again a shocker suddenly class 11 portion was huge that also added to slight a bit of difficulty because some students had forgotten the 11th standard concepts or usually they focus on 12th standard theory and uh, things because most of the other entrance exams they have more weightage or bias towards the 12th standard so that also caused some problems especially if you had some backlogs if you talk about chemistry this is crazy paper one wow 37 percent was organic and inorganic physical chemistry was the least this is interesting and in paper two you can see 44 percent of the paper was physical chemistry such a drastic change from paper one to paper two and the least was inorganic chemistry okay so you can see that iit kanpur has really really played around with the paper pattern with the weightage with class wise distribution barely any class 11th questions were there in uh, paper 2 and 31 percent was from class 11 syllabus in paper 1 for chemistry if you talk about mathematics this is how the distribution was look at it 37 percent close enough uh sorry my bad calculus was 37 percent all right and 25 percent was algebra so that played a major chunk calculus and algebra right uh I'll be giving you the cutoff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, paper two, one big, big change. Look at it 43% calculus, guys, and around 12% algebra. So, if you messed up with calculus, 100% your maths scores would be drastically low. So, students who were strong in calculus and algebra have, would have definitely scored well. Vectors also was asked significantly in paper one. If you talk about class 11th and 12th wise distribution, barely any syllabus from 11th and majority from the 12th standard now if you talk about the cutoffs and that is what you guys want to know sir what is the cutoff what is the rank that i will get how many of you have calculated your approximate scores yes uh, uh, ratal don't worry it will come very soon yes iit kanpur has literally played right so guys how many of you have calculated your approximate scores can you guys quickly tell me your score range approximately 100 200 120 170, 180, 220, 240, 240 and all means you will be like topper only, okay, 120, all right, 135, okay, ready to see it, are you ready to see this, because I will show you the last year's ranks versus marks, so yes, the paper patterns have changed, so it is not really right to compare it like that, it is just showing you how the scores have been, for rank 1, it is crazy, do not don't look over there, start from 101. 300 okay 258 233 for 1000 rank uh if you talk about 10,000 rank 146 last rank around 109 okay that was uh the last couple of years but there is no guarantee that the paper marks always remains the same sometimes there are some variations so we talk in terms of percentage last year the cutoffs dropped down drastically close to 30 percent one of the lowest cutoffs this year similar thing is expected so the cutoffs will definitely drop down so don't get scared in fact if your paper has gone hard it has gone hard for everyone so it is expected that the cutoffs will fall a little bit so this is what it is so for rank 1 320 plus because remember the paper marks are 360 101 around 265 so uh, if you are below 1000 rank that means you have to definitely score about 200 marks uh, if you are below 5000 rank above 135 i was seeing some of you saying 135 so i think you will be close to 5000 rank let's see how it works out and 10000 rank means 110 20000 rank is 95 plus last rank but no point talking about it chumma i'm saying this would be like the ultimate cutoff close to around 80 90 so that's why i said the cutoffs will go down a little bit as compared to the last year okay and remember guys every time the paper marks total marks also keeps changing okay so let me know quickly which range of marks do you lie in and do you think that uh, are you expecting better rank than this or uh, are you think that no sir if i get this rank i will be happy quickly let me know in the comment section below and also share this video with across all your friends and batchmates and do not forget to like this video as well okay thank you so much bye bye take care